What's up guys? Chris with Killer Arcade Games here for another Gameplay Mondays. In this case, I am having a case of the... <laughs> I hate to even say it like that. I'm having a case of the Mondays for like the last week. I don't know, I've been so busy, kind of stressed and really anxious about things, but in this Gameplay Monday, I guess I'll be just talking about some of the, what's going on with the shed. The shed is built, by the way. I haven't shown it yet, but we're getting to that point. And um, I guess just to mention where I've been, I haven't released a video, I think, since the last Gameplay Monday, which was, by the point this comes out, I guess, two weeks. Also, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the meetup, which I believe, as long as I didn't chicken out, I think I'm going to be announcing uh, before this video goes up or right around it. I chose to play Killer Instinct today because I just need to zone out so I can do all this talking and not think much about what I'm doing. And you guys know I can play this game practically blindfolded, which is something I still need to do, by the way. I had plans to do that when I got the real cabinet, and then everything just got crazy and I just couldn't do it. Uh, I am going to do it soon, though. I think it'll be fun to try. Maybe when I get in the shed, that'll be one of the christening events. We'll, we'll break the arcade cabinet over the side of it or whatever. Um, okay. I guess I should just go right into the shed cade stuff. Um, it is built. It was built actually in one day. Um, unlike Rome, right? Isn't that what they say? Uh, but when they were building it, some things came up that weren't expected, like the height of the building. I didn't really know it was going to be quite that high. And that's my fault, of course. I didn't, I don't know. What do I know? I'm pretty good at planning this stuff. But, you know, when you look at your yard, you're like, hey, it looks kind of level, right? Nah, it's not very level, and uh, I think they were kind of surprised too, like, well, uh, we have to, if you're okay with it being this high, which I had no choice, either that or tell them, nope, I don't want it, and I lose half the price of the shed, which didn't make any sense at that point. So I said, uh, well, I guess I kind of have to. The only other place we could have put it to make it level would have been, mostly level, would have been in the center of the yard, and that would look really stupid. So he was like, we can just do it here, and it's like, okay, so they had to actually leave, or they had to send out for more, uh, oh, come on, I thought that was good timing. They had to actually send out for more leveling material, so they had to wait. That felt bad. They were out there for like an hour and a half, two hours, not doing anything, just kind of stuck waiting. And that made them stay much later. It took them to like, I think almost 8 o'clock before they left. On a Friday, I felt really bad, but, um, you know, I guess that's what they do. And they even came back the next day to like touch up a few things. So I was like, God, sorry guys, feel bad, but, you know, things happen. Um... So since the shed is much higher than I anticipated, which would be 27 inches from the ground to the entrance, uh, that means I'm going to have to build a much more elaborate deck. I'd already planned to build like a, a little platform to get up in there. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, build a little platform just to kind of step up and then step up into the, the building. Well, not now. <laughs> I'm going to have to like, I've already got a deck guy coming to give us a bid on like building some stairs that go up to a little platform, a landing, so I can do that. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into the thought process on it. It's part of the reason I've been so stressed, because it's like when stuff I wasn't anticipating shows up, that's when I get stressed. Like, oh crap, how am I going to get this to work? How much more is it going to cost? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, getting the games in there upstairs was not something I had planned on. So I I've got a fix for it, I think, in the future, but I'm just going to save that for another time. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is go for a pretty simple, like, 32-inch landing at the top, 32 inches from the building. And then, you know, it's probably going to take three stairs to get up to that and then into the building. So very simple to keep the price down. I'm trying to set up this Ultra here. Um, hold on. There it is. Okay. And then the added height of the unexpected height. Ah, oh God. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go off the building at least. No, he didn't even go off. The added height means I now have to build a skirting around it. And that's another thing I did not really anticipate having to do. I'm going to try to do it myself with my cousin. He's very handy. I believe he's willing to help. So I'm going to talk to him about coming out maybe next weekend and we can work on it. Wow, kitty keg's very loud today. How's it going? She just woke up. Um, so we're going to probably do that, but that means that's going to add, you know, probably another four or five. Actually, let's be realistic. I'm just going to go the safe route and say $600. And even then, I could be wrong. That's the whole thing that's like so stressful about this. Um, I'm waiting currently for the, the crew that built it to come back just because there are some, just like two, maybe two or three things I need fixed a little bit. Um, one of them being the leveling blocks. And by the way, a lot of people think this is a concrete slab building and it's not. It's too expensive to do a concrete slab. It was already a $10,000 building without that. And the building is very nice, but uh, it has to basically be leveled. I should have gone for the ultra. What was I doing? 
Um, it has to basically be leveled almost like a mobile home. So there's blocks under it holding it up. And now you can see all the blocks since it's sitting so high. And some of the blocks are sticking out a little bit. So I'm asking them to come back and maybe scoot them in a little bit. And maybe I can build a skirting easier around it. They're going to stick out from the building really far. And um, the front door leaked. It's a residential style door with a seal and everything. But we had a pretty good storm like the day, day or two after they built it. And... I mean, I'm talking like almost four inches of rain, which we don't usually get, and it it leaked tremendously inside. Like there was a big puddle inside. I had to go in and mop up every couple of 30 minutes as it rained, you know, and put beach towels down. But I think it's just an issue with the seal. I was looking at that. Um, but what do I know? They're the ones who know I'm gonna let them deal with it. I'm not gonna try to tell them how to do their job because they definitely know better than I do. Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, come on, that would have been so cool. I'm changing characters. This ultra is never gonna work. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, the build, I had to ask them if, hey, uh, I felt like such a dork, but I was like, hey, do you guys mind if I do a time-lapse recording of the you building it? And they were kind of like, uh, okay, but it's like, it's not for anything, like, so I can watch you. It's just so I can, like, put it on YouTube. So I had to tell them I had a YouTube channel, and they asked about it and stuff, and I was like, I don't know, this is embarrassing to me to be like, I have a YouTube channel. Um, maybe I wouldn't be embarrassed if I had, like, a ton of subscribers, but 12,000 is not anything to sneeze at either, I guess. I, I wouldn't be, I would no longer be weird about telling people I have a YouTube channel if I had like a hundred thousand, I think. That's when I'd be like, okay, it's, you're doing something more legitimate here, I guess. I don't know. And I also sent them the videos. The time lapse is actually pretty cool. So you'll see that in a future video, by the way. I didn't want to make a video on it yet because the skirting is done and there's really not much to show other than, hey, it's built. So once we get the skirting done, I think, which could be another week or more, that's when you'll probably get an update on what's been going on with the building. And you'll get to see it. Maybe the members, maybe I'll shoot the members out a little post, uh, members of the channel, that is, uh, what it looks like currently ahead of time. Just give you guys the sneak peek because I, I, gosh, there are those people who signed up for the higher tier and I have been so busy this week, I couldn't post anything in a while, so I feel terrible. So members, if you're watching, thank you for sticking with me. Um, this whole process has had me like, I was kind of mentally prepared to say, okay, I know this isn't going to be built quickly. I know it's going to take probably till June 15th is what I assumed. June 15th, mid to late June would probably be when it's done and, you know, able to move into. That's just because we're doing all this stuff. Most of the work is being done um, by volunteers, like my neighbor across the street, my cousin. Uh, we are probably going to pay some people to do a few more things in there, but that's really it. So I'm relying on things taking a while. Um, and that's fine. I was okay with that, but the added stuff stressed the crap out of me. Can we do this ultra? Oh, I was trying something special there. I messed it up. It just really stressed me because like, okay, so now there's like an unexpected, probably another at least $1,500 expense on top of everything I'd already planned for. I was just like, I, I don't know. I was spiraling out of control with nerves. Um, I'm a pretty anxious person already, uh, but, you know, it... I, I feel like I've got it under control, and I don't like, and if you are one of these people, by the way, I apologize, I'm not saying anything bad about you, but I don't like when there's those people who just must tell, oh, I thought he was going to be stunned. Uh, there's those people that must tell you constantly about their anxiety. It's, you know, a lot of the younger generation. I don't even really think of mine. It's just like a part of me, you know, like I'm anxious all the time. It's probably why I'm busy all the time, just so I can be doing stuff. Um, but, you know, I've lived with it for a long time. I don't, I don't like taking medication for it if I can avoid it. I did it for a short time. I guess a couple years. I didn't really like it. I didn't like how I felt. I don't like putting weird things, you know, weird chemicals in me anyway. I'll tell you, one of the best ways to manage it was to exercise. And that's why I probably got into the biking so much. I just love, and I love mountain biking anyway. But even though we don't have a mountain here to bike on, but you know what I mean, trail riding. Um, oh, he just beat me. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. I was waiting for that ultra setup. That's all right, I'll change characters anyway. Uh, but yeah, I've been there. I, there were a couple days this last week when I had time to like sit down When I actually had time to come up here and do a video on something. I was just like I just could not concentrate. I was Uncomfortable. I felt like I was uncomfortable in my own skin Just sitting there on the couch like oh god, I've got to I got to get this thing worked on I got to get it fixed. I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with the skirting I spent probably 10 hours trying to mentally build this skirting to make sure I knew what I was doing or had everything planned and all that so it's been a tough week. Uh, I've been busy too with work and that's why you haven't seen anything. 
excuse me, I hope you didn't hear that. Um, that's also another reason why I did not stream last weekend. I was quite busy anyway on that Saturday, but I didn't stream last weekend. I was just like, you know, I, I'm not even in the mood to entertain at this point. And I don't know if you want to call what I do entertaining, but that's that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm putting on a show in a way. And I can't sit here and be like, oh God, I'm so nervous about this. And oh, it's going to cost so much. So I said, you know what? We're taking the weekend off. And I ended up, I believe, this is being recorded on Sunday, the day before this releases. But I believe I did not stream this weekend. Unless something happens tonight and I stream. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But I just didn't want to uh, be a downer. Oh, come on. Look at these boobs, brother. Or not. What is going on with me? I can't even play the game anymore. But yeah, so that's where I've been. Sorry about the absence. I felt really weird about it. I came in here yesterday, and I was still kind of like, uh, you know, in my head about all this stuff. And I recorded this three times yesterday, and I deleted every one of them. I mean, it's... I don't know what was wrong with me yesterday. I was not having a good day. And uh, I couldn't do it. So... I hate to even admit that stuff, but it's absolutely true, unfortunately. Everything I recorded was not good. I didn't like it. Uh, but anyway. So today, I've been doing pretty good, by the way. <laughs> I hate to even... Ah, I don't know why. I don't like talking about all this stuff. Anyway. <sighs> um, I did go out for a bike ride today. I did yesterday also, but it rained on me. I was like, how dare you bring me down even more. I was in the middle of a nice trail ride. And... Oh, I almost killed him. God, I... What the heck? Uh, I was in the middle of a good trail ride. I was like, okay, I'm feeling good, getting the exercise going. And then I hear rain. And I was like, oh, the trails are already pretty wet from um, that huge storm we had earlier last week. So I was thinking, well, uh, I guess I should... Pr you know, you're not supposed to ride wet trails here in Texas. I'm sure it's certain trails can be ridden in the wet, but you're not really supposed to because you get muddy, they get ruts and all that. And... People think they're super cool for riding a wet trail, but it's like so unsafe. I started going over when it started drizzling. I was like, okay, I could get through this at least. It's not soaking the ground. Um, I started going over the rocky sections and boy, I could feel my entire bike shifting underneath me and slipping around on the rocks. What the? I'm not having a good day on Killer Instinct here. So it's totally unsafe and I came home. But I went out for a ride around the neighborhood this morning. Started raining again when I got home, but oh well. So I did uh, record, talking about the meetup too, real quick. I did come in here today and I just recorded the announcement video for it right before this. I'm going to get it edited. It's probably going to go up on Sunday as long as I don't chicken out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous about, I'm nervous about doing a meetup because um, a number of reasons really. For one, uh, Lady Cag will not be there, by the way. So I'm, I'm rolling alone, which is weird to me. Not like I don't meet new people all day anyway, but... I don't know, I just feel weird. It, there's that weird feeling of what if no one shows up, for one. But I, I just told myself, hey, if no one shows up, that's fine. You're still at the arcade. Oh, whoa, look at he hit. Oh, I thought he was going to get me from the back with that. You're still at the arcade, you can still go have fun. It's not like, you know, the end of the world. But, you know, uh, it'd be cool if some people showed up. I don't want to be like, well, uh, how was the meetup? I don't know, I didn't go. <laughs> and then part of me is like, I'm going to be meeting a lot of people that... Uh, you know, I'm not used to being that social, you know. But I'm excited to do it. Don't let that deter you. I, it's just the whole thing of overthinking it in the beginning. You know, you can't overthink it. You just got to go do it. So we're going to do it. Um, as of now, it's planned for May 28th. As of now. I keep saying that. I'm not going to change it on you guys unless something catastrophic happens. Uh, my only fears are like, oh, God, what if I get COVID right before? I've never had COVID. I was like, what if I get it right before and I got to cancel? And people may have traveled to come see me or something. Um... I am going to do my best to not let that happen, of course. Uh, and I think everything will be fine, though. I'm really excited about it, and I chose... I guess I could go ahead and say it, assuming the video went out. I chose Cidercade Houston because they have a better game selection currently than um, Austin. I like the Austin location. It's much, much closer to me. But they got rid of their Killer Instinct, which was one of their best games there, unfortunately. And they also got rid of Lady Keg's... Star Wars pinball, which she's devastated about. So now I can't really get her to want to go there. Oh, I messed that up. Dang it. All right, look at these boobs. There we go. Check out these Hooters, full gore. Blue as circuits. Yeah. Um, they got rid of all that stuff. Cidercade Houston has Killer Instinct, has MK4, even though it's only Revision 2. Actually, I think it was there last time, yeah. 
They have a ton of cool games. Uh, they have H2 Overdrive, which I'm excited about. And, uh, oh, oh, youch. And they're all four linked cabinets, so we can hang out and play that together, which will be fun. One hit in, and he combo breaks it. Um, I can't remember what else I said I was going to talk about now. The meetup, where I've been, the shed, all that stuff. Um, Alright, now I'm just toying with him. Come on. Oh god, no I'm not. I thought he had... That's fine, we'll get... We'll do it again. I honestly don't remember what I said. I thought I was a third thing. Eh, I don't know. But, hopefully I'll get all this stuff worked out with the shed soon and get it back on track. I feel like it's just off track right now. And that's what's bothering me the most, I think. So once that's buffed out and everything's worked, you know, smooth, as soon as I get that skirting on there and that deck figured out, I think I'll start feeling much better about it. It's a really cool room when you're inside of it. I don't know, I get, I get excited thinking about it because it's cool to me because I can envision it. Like, I looked around and realized, oh man, this is going to be full of my arcade games. I'm going to have a dedicated space to record all this stuff. I'm not going to be upstairs hot in this room anymore. So I'm really excited about that. And when you see it, you're like, oh cool, it's, it's a real thing now. It actually happened. And um, I'm very excited about that, even though I sound like I'm very negative about it. And it's nothing against the building or anything. It's just me being nervous, as usual. A, a nervous Nelly. And... Uh, <laughs> funny because I don't really I never think of myself like that as the weird thing but sometimes it comes out I guess and just can't help it I gotta say one of the weirdest things was when I hate to even bring it up this stuff too because I hate these memories but when Lady Cag was diagnosed with cancer I was I thought that would kill me literally because I thought I'd worry myself to death um, and weirdly enough when you have real problems like something like that I mean, I was devastated, don't get me wrong. Um, even though it was one of those cancers where like, oh, this is okay, it's the kind of cancer you want to get. And I'm like, no, I don't want her dealing with any of this stuff. And it's not been great for her health over long term or anything. But uh, I do remember feeling like, oh, this is going to be horrible. I'm going to be, you know, a nervous wreck the entire time. And I do have, I remember this like weird sense of calm almost. Like, it was in a weird way because it was like, there's not much I can do about this. Even though it's driving me insane that I can't do much about this. And... I didn't worry, I worried, but I, I wasn't like panicking, you know, like I feel like I want to about certain things now. I wasn't doing any of that when she had that, and it sounds almost like I didn't care, but I did, obviously, and it's just like, I think the whole thing of a lot of the people who seem to have a lot of anxiety and depression and stuff, now I'm not a doctor, and please don't take offense to this, because I know a lot of people get upset, like, how dare you try to know my problems, but it seems like when you have like a real problem, like something like that, that's when you don't worry as much. It's very weird. I, I don't know how to word it. Like, I've, I'm, I've realized I'm all stressed over nothing, over a little bit of extra money and time and work, and for some reason it just had me stressed, and it, it's a weird thing to explain. But anyway, that's also when I started biking, I guess, around that time, which was like, I got to get out and do something to try to keep every, keep the system moving, you know? And I think that does help a lot. It doesn't fix everything, of course, but it helps a lot. <sighs> Sorry about this strange episode of Gameplay Monday, but, you know, sometimes I, I get on here and it's almost like, this is like therapy today. I'm just getting to talk about everything that's been bothering me. Um, I am really excited about the shed, though. Like, every time I go in there, I start looking around like, ooh, I could put a TV here, a TV there, and a TV there, and then split the signals. And I was like, ah, it's going to be way too much money. What am I thinking? I don't need to buy three TVs. But uh, eventually, the cool thing is, once it's built, I can just keep doing more cool stuff to it and change its purpose if I want to like in a weird there could be a small chance or I'm like I'm done with arcades not likely to happen but I'm done with arcades and I could turn it into a whole nother room if I wanted to but anyway I once we get it looking real pretty you guys will see it um and I'll definitely record some of the build process like the I may hire somebody to do the drywall I'm actually talking to a company now to have them come out and do a, a bid uh but I'll probably insulate it myself um Probably going to be building that skirting with my cousin, so I'll try to get some clips during that. Uh, the deck, I'm just going to let some professional do that. I don't need to mess with that stuff. It'll be crooked if I do it. And uh, beyond that, I guess all we have is the electric, which my neighbor's going to mainly do for me. I'm going to help, but he's going to do it. He's an electrician. And I'll try to record some of that too. And uh, oh, the air conditioning. I keep forgetting the air conditioning. The AC, which is going to be planned now, is going to be a mini split unit. And my cousin's an ex-AC guy, 
By the way, if you're watching this, I just saw the screen tearing. You guys are seeing screen tearing. I never see screen tearing because of V-Sync is uh, enabled on here, but for some reason when it's split, only V-Sync works on this monitor. It doesn't work on the uh, capture device. I don't know why. But yeah, my cousin's an ex-AC guy. He's gonna install that. I think that'll probably be one of the last steps and then we move in. And of course, I'll have to record some of that. That's gonna be interesting. I I'm hoping a few people will be willing to come help me with that. Uh, my plan, just a short story, is I plan to build a temporary ramp we can put in place to push the stuff, you know, like rest it on the stairs, push those games up there, and then remove the ramp, take it to storage, and leave it there until I need it again. Well, guys, I really hope this has distracted you from your Monday. Um, at the very least, maybe you can hear me complain a little bit and be like, oh, God, at least I don't have those problems. Even though I, I can't even say it with a straight face. These aren't problems. These are just like annoyances in life. Problems are I'm about to lose my house instead of I'm building another building out back. So I try to remind myself of that stuff when I let myself get a little too nervous and, and all that. You know, I always think back again to the Lady Cag cancer situation, which was, that was a problem. That was like the worst day of my life when she told me that. That was, you know, the worst time of my life was then. That was a real problem. So anytime like small stuff comes up, I do my best to not complain about it too much because, you know, that's nothing compared to what a real problem is. And I'm thankful for those problems over real problems like that. And I've always found that if I complain too much about something, it just gets worse. I don't know why. I don't know if, if there's a God listening or the universe or if it's just coincidence, but if I'm like, God, this sucks, and it just gets worse. So it's like, just forget it. Don't complain about it. It's fine. Anyway, this has been your uh, therapy session with Killer Arcade Games. I hope to see some of you guys at the meetup. I hope that I grew a pair and actually uploaded the video and announced it officially, but we'll see. Uh, if I didn't, I apologize. I'll do a meetup soon, but I'm going for it as far as I know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped your Monday. I hope that I'm having a better Monday. They're actually coming to fix that stuff on Monday, so hopefully we can get all that worked out and that'll be another thing checked off the list and make me feel a little bit better about it. And I want to feel progress, so I think that'll help me feel some progress in the process. Progress in the process? That's funny. And uh, yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, I swear I don't do this complaining weird kind of thing all the time, but if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more arcade content, soon to be a dedicated arcade building out in my backyard. That's going to be a lot of fun with my... These are just arcade one-ups. It's fine. I know if you real arcade guys see this, you're scoffing at me. I do have three real arcade cabinets in the garage, and they're going in there too. Possibly going to be buying some more now that I have the room. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you guys on the next one.